Today we're speaking with Jean-Paul Ebanga, who is the President and Chief Executive Officer of CFM International. Mr. Ebanga, thank you for speaking with me today. You did a fantastic presentation today at ISTAT, and I'd like for you just to share some of the highlights of your talk about the LIPEX engine. Yeah. The, the LIPEX is the new engine CFM is currently developing. Um, you know, uh, CFM has uh, uh, more than 30 years experience and successful experience with the CFM 56. And now we are preparing the next generation of engines. And this engine is called the LIPEX. We have done uh, uh, analysis with uh, more than 300 customers to get their feedback about what should be the, 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 the best engine for this uh, market segment. And by the way, we are on the narrow body market segment for more than 30 years, so we have a pretty good experience of what this market is looking for. So by mixing the result of this analysis with this customer, with our own experience, we came up with four main objectives for these new engines. The first one is all about reliability, because the narrow body segment is uh, very specific. Uh, you have uh, several departure a day, you have a very dense uh, route network. So if you have one delay at one point, this will ripple through all the systems. And finally, the cost of this delay will cost our uh, customer a lot. I mean, so the reliability of our product is absolutely essential, and this is the top priority. Then, the second objective is about the fuel, the fuel cost, because you know, with the current level of the, the fuel price, this is a, a big part of the cost of operation uh, within the airline. So, we had and we need to provide the appropriate solution to offer the best, uh, the best efficiency we can get on the fuel side to our customer. The third point is about the maintenance cost. Uh, you know, uh, it's something to buy an engine, it's something else to buy fuel, but these engines are out there for a long term. I mean, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and our customer would like to be sure that in terms of maintenance cost, even though they are looking for new technologies for, I mean, uh, engine performance, they would like to get this technology at the today uh, maintenance cost. And last but not least, it's all about uh, the green engines. I mean, we all taking care about the planet Earth, so we need to use any single opportunities to bring in additional benefit in terms of noise, in terms of emission and all that. So basically speaking, and to summarize my point, the LIPEX, the new engine CFM is developing, is aiming to address these four objectives, the reliability, the fuel uh, savings, the maintenance cost with tomorrow technologies, as well as the eco-friendly engines. One of the interesting points you made in your speech today was you mentioned or you showed a slide where the CFM engine has five, well, engines have 520 million hours of operation and you pointed out that that's the equivalent of six, 60,000 years back to the beginning of human life almost. Uh, that's an incredible statistic upon which to base the, the technology for you, your engine. It's, uh, that's, a, that's a benchmark I think that doesn't exist for any, anything else. You get the point. I mean, uh, this is a translation on the fact that the CFM is the most successful engine program in the history of the, uh, of the aerospace. And we are here for more than uh, 30 years. And with all the engines we deliver on this market, and today, by the way, uh, we have delivered more than 20,000 engines which is quite a lot. And with all these operators out there, I mean, we have more than 500 operators, we are building our experience days in, days out in a very fast way. And as I pointed out this morning, uh, during the time of my presentation, 
we get 3,000 hours of experience more. So what we are doing on the LIPEX is getting this incredible knowledge in terms of experience and bringing this knowledge back to the design of the new engines. The Le the, the, on the LIPEX you mentioned something fascinating about variable um, in, the, in the veins there would be some kind of variability. Can you talk a little bit about that? No, uh, uh, no, no, no. Exactly. I'm not, uh, I didn't talk about the variability <laughs> of the vein. What, what I mentioned about uh, the, uh, the, the, the technology we are using on the turbine, That's on the right. turbine right. uh, of this engine, is it's a, a, a very uh, advanced technology in terms of coating and a very advanced techniques in terms of cooling to be able to operate our engines at a higher temperature while the metal part of the blades are seeing the exact same environment as the CFM56 today. Because I explain, as I explain uh, today, the point is basically an engine is a thermal machine. The higher we are in terms of temperature, the higher we are in terms of pressure, the best efficiency we will get from the uh, from the engines, but on the other side, we need to keep an eye on the durability of the part within the engines. And with these uh, absolutely incredible new techniques we are putting in the LIPEX, we will be able to operate at a higher temperature, so having the best efficiency of our engines while keeping the parts at the same and the metal the metal part of the parts at the same temperature and keeping our cost as it, as they are today. What other new the, the maintenance cost I mean. What other new technologies are you going to be bringing out in the LIPEX? We we are rolling out multiple technologies, you know, as I explained this morning, to be able to address all these four objectives, you cannot address them with one technology, a kind of magic bullet, it's not possible. So we are today working on a series of different uh, uh, new technologies in order to address these different objectives. And it's the combination of all that which will provide the appropriate answer to our customer. Last question, robustness of all these technologies. You've obviously started to test them. And can you speak a little bit about the robustness of the technology based on the fact that your engine is the benchmark for, for reliability in, in, its seg in its segment? Exactly. And you know, today we have a very well-defined, very well-structured development process. So we are not going on the marketplace with technology which are not mature. So we have a first phase where we invent the new technologies and then this phase is followed by a phase of what we call maturation period in order to be able to bring this technology to the appropriate maturity level to make sure that when we will start uh, servicing them everything will be all right and we are taking we are talking about uh, i mean thousands of hours to mature technology it's not a couple of hundreds of hours it's a, a couple of thousand of hours. So this is the reason why our program is taking place over several years. Thank you so much. Thank you.